Hello, 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 and welcome to this edition of a quick pint. Now, by the end of this video, I want to be clear that there are fundamental differences in the brain structure between liberals and conservatives, which implies there is a genetic difference between them, of course. And uh, this was brought to my attention by Joseph Bronsky, who is a pseudonymous researcher. Uh, and it's actually a very old paper. It's one of the problems with academia that they, uh, you, know, you don't find out about papers until well after they've been published. Uh, and this is a, by, by Ryota Kanai. Uh, it was published in the journal Current Biology. And he took a, oh, a small sample of 90 students, um, uh, uh, 90 students, um, and tested them for whether they were conservative or liberal in their orientation. And what he found was differences in their brain structure. The paper is called Political Orientations Are Correlated with Brain Structure Among Young Adults. And he analysed grey matter volume using MRI and he found that liberals have increased grey matter in the anterior singular cortex. Now, the anterior singular cortex, um, if you have a large amount of grey matter in it, you are good at coping with uncertainty and you are, you, you, you're you not particularly concerned about conflicts. Whereas conservatives, they had increased uh, grey matter, increased volume in the right amygdala. Um, now, this is associated with fear and disgust, and it's very, very primal. Uh, and there's evidence as well that conservatives are more likely to respond to threatening faces than are liberals, according to the paper. So what it implies, basically, is that is that conservatism, conservatives are are more, in a sense, primal. They, they, uh, the the, the uh, amygdala is the more, most primitive part of the brain uh, associated with fear and disgust, um, and, uh, and, and which is obviously highly adaptive under conditions of group conflict to be very, very high in fear and very, very high in disgust. We could argue that it is uh, maladaptive under conditions of group conflict to be low in fear and low in disgust. Because if you're low in these things, then you're more likely to be subject to disease. Uh, you're more likely to be uh, invaded by different groups you're, or, 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 and, and this sort of thing. So it's maladaptive. Um, uh, it could all further be argued, however, that liberalism is an adaptation to a more complex society and indeed a society where there is not a great deal of conflict, where, there is, where you're not under harsh evolutionary conditions um, and therefore you, are not, you don't have any particular concern about conflict. Uh, and you, you are highly tolerant of uncertainty. So this would be consistent, I think, with possibly, and I should emphasise that it's only a small sample and the, the effect size is not very big, but this would possibly be consistent with the idea that liberals are, in their mod are a more modern phenomenon that have come about uh, as evolutionary pressures have weakened over the last 200 years. It would have been adaptive in under harsh Darwinian conditions up to the Industrial Revolution to be very high in fear and very high in disgust and uh, uh, very interested in certainty and order and very, very uh, you know, concerned about conflict, and uh, particularly with outsiders. Uh, liberals are low in fear. Uh, they are low in disgust. They are uh, low uh, in, in concern about conflict uh, and they are low in concern about uncertainty. So so this implies perhaps that, that, that they are some sort of deviation from our traditional evolutionary norm, because obviously it's highly adaptive to be high in fear and disgust. These are basic survival mechanisms. But of course, it also raises questions. Um, many, many liberals, con contemporary liberals, are very unhappy about uncertainty. If you question their dogmas, then they get very, very upset. Whereas conservatives are less inclined to get upset if you question their dogmas. Um, and many liberals are very, very into conflict. Uh, and, and very concerned about conflict, uh, and very high in certain kinds of disgust, particularly disgust towards those who disagree with them, and very high in certain kinds of fear, particularly fear of those who, who disagree with them and who are not part of their group. So I don't know, there's perhaps a lot of nuance there that is not picked up by this study. But anyway, I thought it was an interesting study and was uh, certainly uh, thought-provoking and worth, uh, worth mulling over as we have our mulled wine. Are you ready for the future of the West?